This video shows two ways to connect your DualSense controller to a PC. And it also goes over some things to try if those ways are not working. If you previously used your controller on some other device, like a console or phone, make sure that device is off before moving forward with this process. Not doing so can cause difficulties in getting the controller established on the PC. Also, make sure you have updated your PC to have the latest Windows update. This will make certain that you have the latest drivers for your DualSense. The first way to connect your controller to a PC is by using a USB cord. This also means you need to keep the cord attached as you play. All you need to do is get a USB-A to USB-C cable and plug the big end into your PC and the smaller end into the top of your controller. The controller does not have to be on. I suggest you do this before opening up your game. Make sure it's not a charging only cable. It has to be one with data transfer capability. It should start working immediately. If this method is not working for you and it's the method you wanna use, jump to the troubleshooting section of this video using this timestamp. Once you're done playing, disconnect the cord. If it remains on, you can turn it off by holding down the PlayStation button until the light goes out. The next time you wanna play, just plug the cord back in and it should start working within seconds. Now I will show you how to connect the controller wirelessly. If you previously used your controller on another device, like a phone or console, turn that device off first. Then use the Windows search bar and search on the word Bluetooth and find the Bluetooth and other devices settings menu and click on it. Make sure the Bluetooth switch is in the on position and then click add device. Then click on Bluetooth. On Windows 10, it's called add Bluetooth or other device. On the controller, hold down both the share and PlayStation button until the lights start strobing. On the screen, your controller should appear on the list. Single click it with the mouse and it'll set itself up. And then click done. The DualSense will now appear on the screen. You may need to give it a few minutes as it installs some drivers. If you have a problem, head to the troubleshooting section at this timestamp. If it did work and you're done playing, hold the PlayStation button until the lights go off. If you want to play again later, you don't need to do this whole process again. Just press the PlayStation button while your PC is running. If you cannot get your controller to connect, try these things one at a time until it does. Run any updates that are due for your PC and then do a restart, even if there's no updates available. Restarts have been known to solve many controller issues, so do not skip out on doing it. Update the firmware on your controller by downloading Sony's app called Firmware Updater for DualSense Wireless Controller. In the description of this video, I'll put a link to this page. Once you get that utility running, it'll tell you to hook up the DualSense using a USB cable and it'll instantly check to see if it's up to date. If it isn't, it'll offer an update. Note that if you have Steam open, it'll interfere with this program, so make sure you have that shut down. Try resetting your DualSense. First, make sure your DualSense is on, if you can get it to come on at all. And flip it around and find this hole on the back. Don't get it mixed up with this microphone hole that is right here. Take something small like a needle or the end of a paper clip or a push pin and press it into the hole. You'll feel a button in there click. Hold that button down for five seconds. It'll turn off the controller within the first second, but keep holding it in for the full five seconds. Now that the DualSense is off, go ahead and press the button a second time, holding it for another five seconds. What you have just done is reset your controller. Sony says to do it while it's off, but other sources say to do it while it's on, so that's why I had you do it both ways, just to make sure. If you're using Bluetooth and your controller appears on the Bluetooth and devices screen right here, but it's still not working, you can click the little three dots out to the right and remove the profile. This will allow you to set up the Bluetooth connection all over again, so see if that helped. Update the device driver by first searching your computer for device manager, find your controller on the list, 
If you're using a USB cord, it'll be in the sound, video, and game controllers section. If you're using Bluetooth, it'll be in a Bluetooth section. Right click on it and click update driver. It'll give you the option to automatically search an update or it'll allow you to find the driver yourself. Choose one of those. I do realize that for some of you, your controller is not being detected by your PC. In that case, it probably will not be showing up on this screen at all. Using the same device manager menu, you also have the option to uninstall device. Do that and try the installation process again. If you're using a USB cord and nothing is working, make sure it's all the way in on both ends. If it is, try a different cord. It may be faulty, or you may have a charging only cord, which would not be usable for gameplay. It's also possible the USB port on your controller or computer is damaged. Try a different port on the PC. The port on the controller could also be an issue. Try cleaning it out with a toothbrush if your issue hasn't been resolved, then describe it in a comment below. Did you know there are four internal versions of the DualSense? And I made a video where I do a teardown of each of the four versions and compare them. You should see that video linked on the screen. If not, I'll put it in the description. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.